Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to divide fractions without a calculator, of course. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's have a look at, let's have a look at question A here. So what we've got here is four sevens divided by five six. Now, the uh, simplest way to do um, divide by fractions is actually multiply the first fraction with the reciprocal of the second fraction. So what does it actually mean? So to do a reciprocal, all we have to do is we are literally going to uh, flip this fraction upside down and we're going to change that divide function into a multiplication. So what we're going to end up with is 4 over 7 multiplied by 6 over 5. So reciprocal of a fraction, it's just taking the fraction and flipping it the opposite way. So in this case, we've got 4 times 6, which happens to be 24, and then 7 times 5, which happens to be 35. And unfortunately for this question, we can't actually go any further. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in the calculator as well, just to check that I'm on the right track. So we've got 4 sevenths uh, divided by 5 sixths. And as you can see, 24 over 35. We can't really simplify that any further. All right, so looking at question B here, what we've got is 6 seven divided by 1 third. So again, what I'm going to do is I am going to do the multiply it with the reciprocal of 1 over 3. So I'm going to get 6 over 7 multiplied by 3 over 1. Now I've got 6 times 3, which happens to be 18. 7 times 1, which happens to be 7. And I don't think we can do anything uh, beyond that. Now you might actually think about writing this as a mixed fraction. It's not necessary. But if you do, then you're looking at 2, 4, uh, 7. Finally, looking at question C here. Question C here, we've got 7 eighths divided by 3 over 5. Now, I'm just going to, just for this particular question, I'm going to change that 3 fifth into something else. I'm going to put that as 21. Uh, actually, let's try this. So we're going to make that into 21 over 40. So 7 eighths divided by 21 over 40. Now, you're sitting there thinking, oh, hang on, what's happening here? Well, nothing really changes from in terms of the rules, right? So we are going to multiply 7 eighths by the reciprocal of 21 over 40. So what we're going to end up with is 7 eighths times 40 divided by 21. Now, of course, you're thinking, but I don't have a calculator. How am I going to do this? Uh, remember in the previous video in this particular playlist, I actually showed you folks how to do multiplication of fractions, especially with these types of questions. So I'm kind of going to do that here. Um, but I will do the long method in this case, just in case you haven't watched the other video. So 40, there's a connection. There's a connection between 7 and 21. And there's a connection between 8 and 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write 40 as 8 times 5 and 21 as 7 times 3. And at this point, because I'm multiplying everything, what I can do is I can start canceling out the common factors in the numerator and denominator. So I've got 7 as a common factor, 8 as a common factor in the both denominator and numerator. And what's left over is just 5 over 3. And so my final answer for this will be 5 over 3. And if you want to write it as a mixed fraction, you might write it as 1 and 2 thirds. Let's have a look at the calculator just to see what the calculator does to give us the answer. So we've got 7 eighths. And we're going to go divided by 21 over 40. And as you can see, that's actually giving us an answer of 5 thirds. But of course, the reason why we're learning how to do this without a calculator is, again, it all goes back to, um, well, all comes forward, goes back. I don't know which way it does. But when you get to uh, level uh, one or two algebra, um, knowing how to do these without a calculator is going to be hugely beneficial for you. Yes, you might be thinking, yeah, but I can do it in the calculator to get it right. But trust me on this, learning this will help you in the long run. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.